Oh, we're gonna make this fucking Tori out or fucking fly all around. I dare you to stick your dick in this. If I was pussy, I'd be filled with syphilis, herpes, gonorrhea, chlamydia, getting rid of ya. Hey guys, I got a little something for you real fast. Hey, what's up? <laughs> oh my god. Woo! Eat that, motherfucker! So what's up, folks? Let me ask you something. Have you ever wanted to fly this submarine car right here? You know how you can, like, boost it, like, real fast in the ocean and on land? What if you could boost it like that in the air, up into space, up literally past the skybox, literally past the map where you're supposed to even go? You ever wondered how to do that? Well, guess what? I got you. Alright, so first things first, if you want to make this thing fly up into the air, like into space, you're going to have to do it on this particular mission, where you go to the, uh... You start this board, you go to the approach vehicles prep, and you do the submarine Kosatka. And the important caveat here to make this work, it has to be this spawn point. Right here, okay? North of Fort Zancudo. Like, it doesn't work if it's up here, or if it's over to the right. Like, it has to be that spawn point if you want to do this. All right, next thing. Obviously, you're going to need to own a submarine and this submarine car like this. And I don't know if it fucks it up if you drive the sub right up over there or not, but I like to take this submarine and kill them with missiles. And then you pull this car over here, and then bing, bang, boom, you should be good. There. You see the so, come over yonder. Park this. Now, normally you would jump out a little bit early, but since this is underwater, you can just go right up to it and then push Y, because there's like no sliding around. Although your car will go a little bit past you. So I like to do this and not get, not take the ladder if I can avoid it and not have this happen. That's what I definitely don't want to have happen. Great. Oh, really? I blew it up to. No, no, let me just kill myself a third time. That's fine. No, no, shush. This doesn't represent me, okay? I'm a five-star man. Shut up, bitch. Oh, fuck off, guys. Seriously. Okay, so it's not right there. Let's see if it's somewhere else down here. So, you know, you just work your way along here and just start slaughtering everyone who's in your path, like some of this and a little bit of this and a little bit of that. And, you know, it might not be down here. Sometimes it will, sometimes it won't. You get ready for the chef. He comes at you. He's like, hey, bro, I'm not a fan of what you're doing. And you're like, well, you know, that's too bad. Did that a little close, but that's okay. Let's try again. There we go. The second time's a charm. All right. So now that you're here, you should probably get into your sub ASAP. And you should be good if you destroyed everyone before with uh, just... I don't know, whatever the fuck. If you destroyed everyone before with the missiles from your submarine, then these guys won't really kill you, and then you can just get to your boat, and they'll be like, oh man, that submarine's right there. We probably don't want to die from those same missiles, so we're gonna fuck off and leave. This is the important part here. You just gotta angle your shit upwards, like like so, basically, except not like so. Again, the, uh, the mission does have to spawn right in this general area if you want to do this yourself so keep that in mind but so you just gotta go up to your submarine like this kind of angle it up like this and then boom and then it doesn't work and you look like an asshole for no reason oh fuck <laughs> well that had it but Yes! You see? So it does work. Just not on your submarine for some reason. You can't do it off your submarine, I found, which is uh, what I initially thought. Like, I made a video about this earlier, and then I was like, oh, wait, I could just probably go to my fucking sub. But nah, this right here, people. Look. See how he's flying? Although, honestly, this is not the best angle. I should probably try it again. Because you see, like... You want to be straight up in the air, otherwise you'll lose too much height before you gain it. So, you know, I mean, I've found that these walls right here are actually pretty good. It's just a matter of timing. You 
just gotta kinda get yourself situated right near the edge and then boom! And then you know you fuck up and you're like, well I look like an asshole, let's try again. Yes! Yes, I got the angle! Well, it's not even, it's basically the angle. It's pretty much, I mean, ideally you want it to be like straight up like a rocket ship, but if you have the angle pretty much like this, you can pretty much go forever, people. Um, it's kind of an awkward thing. Like I initially remade this video because I thought, oh yeah, you could just go to the submarine and use it to launch yourself. But for some reason, when you go back within range of your submarine, this glitch stops working. Um, but yeah, if you like angle your car straight up after doing it on that particular spawn point, for some reason you can just infinitely boost your shit. And you know what's kind of cool is that the skybox in the air reserved for airplanes and helicopters and stuff that prevents you from going too high, that uh, that doesn't work for cars because you're not supposed to, uh, you're not even supposed to have cars this high. So you could theoretically, with patience and persistence, just keep on climbing until you get to space. But let me tell you, you're gonna, uh, you'll keep climbing slowly but surely, but you'll see, you see how I'm like listing to the left? I didn't hit this perfectly. And even if I did hit this perfectly, I'm pretty sure to get up to space, quote unquote, like millions and millions of feet in the air, it would take like an hour of doing this. So there is limited, uh, you know, this is just a ridiculous glitch if you want to have fun and like wow your friends and have them be like, wait, what are you doing? Like, look at this shit. <laughs> Haven't you ever wanted to just fly your Toriata across the map and confuse a lot of people? Well, this is the video for you. My personal vehicle's been destroyed! I'm driving it! Oh, this is not good. Oh my god, this is ridiculous! This is so ridiculous! Yeah, what do you know about a completely useless glitch that serves you no benefit or purpose? Ha 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 ha! What? <laughs> Look at cinematic mode! <laughs> oh man, the game's like really freaking out right now. Does it look, is it me or does that look like I'm about to reach a landmass out there in the distance? Is that Kaio Perico? Wait, hold on. Is that actually Kaio Perico? Did, did I just. No, is that just like a glitch in the map? I don't even know. I'm so far away from like everything right now. This might be Kaio Perico right here. All the fuck the way off to the side. Did I just travel to Kyle Perico? By myself instead of flying there? What? Dude, that's definitely a landmass. And that's definitely Kyle Perico. And it's definitely not going to work when I go out of my submarine and try to fall on it. Yeah, I hydrate with gin and tonics. By the way, make me another one of these pretty please. <laughs> Radio still works, that's good. Even though my car got destroyed. Or it could be North Yankton. Fuck, I don't even know what this is. I don't know how far I am away from the map at this point, but I'm definitely way farther than the, uh, the limit. Doesn't it seem like it's further and further away right now? Oh shit! Oh shit, I lost my camera! Oh, that's not good! That's not good. That's not good. I've lost the camera. <laughs> it seems like I am still traveling. But yeah, I cannot go into first person anymore. Um, I can't go into cinematic camera. <laughs> I have reached the edge of the... Vi I didn't know you could do this. I was trying to go up, but who knew I was going to have more fun going left or right. This is... <laughs> 
All right, now we have to see what happens if I go out of submarine mode, because that's the one move I have left. All right, let's try it. Let's see it. All right. I went out of submarine mode. It doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. It's fucked. It's fucked. <laughs> I've lost the camera all the way up here. Oh, I went under the water, though. Oh, there you go. There you go. <laughs> nice. All right, where am I? I can't even... Hold on. Can I go left? Let's see how far it takes me to go left. Wait, hold on. How far away is he right now? 241,000 feet is how far away the other players are. <laughs> yeah, no, this is fine. This is fine. Wasted! <laughs> so, yeah, you can have some fun with that. Uh, you can have some fun with that glitch right there, people. It's pretty silly. Um, I Yeah, I think if you get the angle like completely right and you just start going straight up, you can just keep going past the skybox, similar to what I just did. And you can just keep going up into, like, space. And, uh, I, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> That's pretty fucking awesome, though. I know that going up to space with that method, you're constantly fighting gravity. So it's going to take you a lot longer. Like, this one, I was pretty much just going left the whole time. Like, I got to the edge of where I could get, actually, way faster, I think, than I would have gotten to the top, so... That was pretty fucking awesome, I gotta say. I'm glad I tried this again. Um, yeah. Again, for whatever reason, it has to be that particular spawn for it to work. And it has to... You can't use the submarine itself, because once you get close to the sub itself, it'll... It, like, whatever. It just doesn't work the proper way. But if you go off, like, one of these rocks right here, it'll take a little bit of practice and finesse, but you'll start to get used to it. And just find an angle that's, like, directly up, right near the, uh, right near... Right near the surface, and bang, bang, boom, you're good to go. You'll make it to the afterlife of GTA, which I didn't even know was possible. The, the forbidden ether, as, you, as they call it. But, fuck. You know the whole spiel, people. Other than that, check the channel out. Leave a like, thumbs up, whatever you want to call it. Subscribe, ring the bell. I think that's extra good. It lets you know whenever I do live videos or other stuff like that. I don't even do that many, so don't even worry about ringing the bell. Ring that bell. Don't even think about it. Just do it. Shut up. Um, let's see what else. Twitch is getting absolutely insane. People are throwing around bits like confetti out here. Thousands of bits, hundreds of bits. Gifting people with fucking subscriptions, throwing out hydration, throwing down 420s, even though I don't think that's allowed in the terms of service. Excuse me, what? I mean, it's back tobacco out of my tobacco pipe. Shout out to Squatch. Shout out to fucking Venom. Shout out to Vinny. Vinny Dice. You guys are out here crushing it, making it very extra lively. And shout out to everyone else watching. IT, CU, Bulky, you know what it is. And check out the Discord too, folks. I, um, I try to make it more lively. I'm trying to make it more like a place where anyone can go to find like people to help them do LFG type stuff. Uh, sometimes I'll just throw gifts up and fuck around. Maybe get tipsy and promote you to some role if I feel like it. You know, who knows? It's go over there and peep. Check the link in the description. And other than that, you, you guys know what it is. Thanks for watching, boys. Till next time. Bam! Yo, who brought the fucking billet sister out here, boys? Whose billet sister is a fucking rocket, boys? Obviously the best thing in the entire penthouse. I want to buy this as a real painting and put it up in my house. You know, you see how I got four million chips? Every million chips you get, you get a pile of chips in your safe like this for a maximum of 12. So, think I just got the hard on. Nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs>